What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out on the boat once again, and today we're gonna be magnet fishing a section of river where last time we were here, I actually found a pistol. And that is not the only gun that I have found on this river. There has not been a single time yet where we came out here and did not leave with an absolutely over the top full cart. This river has been an absolute gold mine and there has got to be some left. So today we're back out here, we're gonna give it another shot and it is absolutely gorgeous today. We're just gonna float down the river with the current, we're gonna dip our magnet around and we're gonna see if we can find anything out here today. Let's not waste any time here you guys, let's get our magnet in the water and let's see if we can find anything. All right guys, today I have my large 360 degree magnet with me as usual. Let's get right down to it, let's start tossing around and let's see if we can find anything today. Ooh, did I just land on top of something? I did. Hold your horses, you guys. I think this is like my fourth throw here today. We've came up empty handed every time, but I got something here. Oh my, that's heavy. Hold on a second, go nice and slow. We don't wanna lose that. Oh, that's really heavy. Um, you have got to be kidding me, you guys. Look at what I just found. <laughs> I have not even taken five throws yet today, and we already found us a flipping clam-covered bike. How long do you think that one's been down there? We don't got no tires on that thing, so who knows if the tires are still sitting at the bottom of the river, but I don't think you're riding this bike anytime soon. I can't really see like a brand name or something on there. Wow, there's like rust crusted onto that bike. Looks like the old BMX bike. Probably was stolen, you guys. Within five throws, we already got our first find of the day. The old cash money clam bike. Every now and then I catch a bike where it's like maybe you could pop possibly restore it if you knew how to do that kind of thing. This one is definitely not one of those. It says mongoose on the pedal, you guys. We got us the old mongoose. No, I just landed on something again. What is that? Hold on. Could you imagine if this is another bike? That would be messed up. I definitely am feeling something here. Nice and easy, uh oh. Oh no, this might be stuck in the mud or what's going on? Oh no, that doesn't want to come up. Oh, I got it. I pulled it right out of the mud. Yes, it's coming up you guys, it's kind of heavy too. What the heck is this? Oh, is it a sign? Nope. We got bamboozled on the sign, you guys. It looks like just one of the old school T-posts. This is the type of thing that you use to build fences. I used a bunch of these to build fences for my chicken fence. Nothing too crazy, but a little more cash money for the cart. Oh, here we go. Another something right in the same area. Yep, yeah, hold on. What are you down there? Something again, the very next throw. What do we got, is that the bike rims? Oh no, dude, I can tell what this is. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm not 100% sure, but does that not look like a basketball hoop? Just the rim part. Oh my goodness, I think that's what that is. I really don't see like any of the clips, I guess, where the chain would have hung from, but I can't think of anything else that would have been. That sure does look like a basketball hoop ring. And that sucker looks old, so if the whole hoop or the whole rest of it is still in there, I'm sure it's probably beat right up. That's an old school hoop and ring. We could go dunking. Boink, again. Okay, it's like every throw next to this tree right now. I'll take it. Oh no, what's going on there? Come here. Must be stuck in the mud. Come here, you. You know you wanna. I got it. Oh no, there's a lot of stuff in the mud here. All you gotta do is wiggle it out and it comes right up. I got something. Yeah, here we go. What the heck is that one? Looks like some kind of metal ring, obviously. And look at that, it's got a little couple buckle or a little bolts on there. Now I could just be talking crazy here, but this kind of reminds me of something that might go on like the bottom of a wooden barrel to hold the wooden pieces together. Or maybe like the top piece, if that makes any sense. That's what it kind of looks like. Maybe the old metal banding that was holding together a wooden barrel, just a small one. Pretty cool, you guys.
I hit something again. Oh my goodness. Are we really gonna find something every throw? Yes, yeah, so far, that is the case. I got something again. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're slipping. Oh, it's flat, is that a sign? Is that a sign, dude? Hold on a second. Oh, look at all the eggs on there. That always happens every once in a while and I don't know what kind of eggs they are. I guess I've never really gone too in depth on the research on these, but I feel like I should. Bunch of clams on this thing, a little bit of algae growing on there too. But the more I look at this, I don't think it's a sign. If it was, you can't read it anymore. Some more cash money. Ooh, I got something very last second there. Not super heavy, but we are pulling something. Ooh, maybe even a couple things. Check this out, you guys. Dude, look at that. I can see what those are right away, or at least I thought that's what they looked like. Yep. What the heck? We just caught us one pair, or like one hand of a handcuff. It's all busted up, but we looks like we found both of the pieces there. We're locking you up. I definitely don't think those are like real police handcuffs, because I think those things are like big heavy duty ones. And if you look, we are behind like an old apartment building or something here. So I'm assuming at one point there was probably kids playing and they just tossed these suckers in the river. And to go with it, we had this thing here. I don't know what in the world to think of this one, but there is so much rust crusted onto that thing. Holy cow. It almost looks like an old lampshade or something at first, but I really don't know what to think of that one, you guys. Maybe it's an old bowl and there's just a hole in the bottom. I'm not really sure. I don't know what to think of this thing, you guys. Pretty funky looking. I got something here. Another something. What do we got this time? Ooh, what the heck is this one here? Is that all one piece or what's going on there? Yeah, definitely all one piece, but it looks like this might be some kind of small little handle piece, you guys. I don't know what the heck this thing could be part of. It's pretty rare to find anything in this river that doesn't have the clams on there. I don't know what to think of that thing. Some kind of handle piece. Here we go. There's something on there. In the old backyards here. We are nailing stuff. Oh, that's heavy. What the, oh, we're gonna slip off. What the heck is this? Um, what the heck is that? Check this one out, you guys. It almost looks like maybe the tailpipe piece off of like an exhaust or something. I'm not really sure. Not much left of that thing to go off of. Other than that, really doesn't look like too much on the magnet. Maybe a little piece of a stick. We got the old scrap metal bracket. And it looks like part of some kind of spring. Maybe out of a couch or a chair or maybe a bed mattress. Who knows? Oh, what is that? I see some white. Oh, dude, look at this. Hold on. Whoa, there's something in a bag there. What the heck is going on there? We'll check that in a second. Bags aren't supposed to be magnetic. But look at this. This is definitely a pair of wheels and the trucks off of a skateboard. That's pretty crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that. They still spin. All you need is a board and you're going skating. That's pretty crazy, you guys. I'd be willing to bet you the other set of wheels and the board is probably still down there. And we had some kind of uh, magnetic bag here. I'm a little afraid to uh, peel this open here. There's something in there, I can feel it, dude. Yeah, what is that right there? Um, I'm a little freaked out right now, you guys. I don't know if I should be, what 
the heck is that, yo? It almost looks like the inside of a battery or something. There's all kinds of gooey stuff coming out of there, but whatever that is was wrapped up in this plastic bag and tossed in the river. I don't know what to think of that thing, you guys. That is really strange. Ooh, here we go. Another something, man. Again, right in these backyards here. Oh no, did I just lose it? Why does that keep happening? I'm not even pulling that fast, Jack. Yeah, seriously, what the heck, man? There's something right there. I knows it. I just knows it. Yeah, right there. I'm not leaving without you. There's something here, you guys, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Here it comes. No, come here. Whatever it is, it's like heavy and it's not giving me such a good stick. No, it keeps coming off. Come here. Really? Why are you doing that? I think now is the time where we bust out Mr. Klosky. All right, guys, I got my claw hooked up here. I'm gonna toss this right on top of where our magnet is and I'm gonna see if I can't figure out what the heck this is. The old Klosky. It's been a while since we had this thing in action. Let's see if it does us any good. Oh, I'm feeling something, yep. I'm feeling it, I just gotta, you gotta get a hook on it. Depends on what it is, you, it might be round, you might not even be able to get a hook on it. I think I have it though, I 100% do. I have whatever this is with the claw. I'm hitting the bottom of the boat? That's not right, oh no. It's coming up off the bottom of the mud, here it comes. What the? Okay, what is that? That's not what I had, right? That's a, that's a log. Look at this, you guys. This is a giant piece of wood. Literally, I caught that with the claw, but we completely missed whatever the magnet was on. We gotta try that again. <laughs> we don't want no logs today. I hooked something for a second and a half. Come here. I got it. I got something anyways. I don't know if this is what our magnet's attached to. I got something. It's coming up too. Nice and easy here. I got it. Dude, I got it. Is this what our magnet was on? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Was that what our magnet was on? I don't, I seriously don't think so. I think our magnet might be on something else. Oh my gosh. Look at what I just found. This is a giant fan. What the heck, you guys? You ain't blowing no air out of that one anymore. Holy smokes. Look at this flipping thing. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised I don't see like any crayfish or any fish or anything in there. Nothing. With the stand still attached and everything. Look at that. We'll set it up. It's kind of hot out here. We need some fresh air. And there's probably no doubt that it came from somebody in one of these apartments here. We caught us an entire fan. Here we go. What's this one? Oh, that feels a little heavier. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, there is something on there. Oh, I thought it came off. What do we got? Yeah, check this thing out, you guys. Uh, looks like two little things, actually. First thing is nothing too fancy. Oh, look at that, it's shiny under there. Ah, what do you think that came off of? Looks like just the old pipe pistol. But then we caught this thing, you guys, and it looks like a little cover piece for something. Like these are hinges. I don't know what that would have came off of, but it definitely looks like there is a little bit of writing on the front there. No way, this bottom word, I think it actually says queen. I'm not even kidding. I don't know if there's any more words on there, but I think that says queen. We cost the old tiny queen flat door. What in the world do you think that came off of? That's pretty cool. Holy cow, another something. I am impressed with this area today. 
Yes, wow. What do I got this time? Oh, that's, uh, what is that? Hold on a second. <sighs> no way, you guys. Look at what we just found. We got us an old shovel head. And boy, does that thing look old. Pretty crazy, you guys. It's actually still in pretty good condition. We're just missing the entire wooden handle, which is typically what happens to wood after being in the river for years and years. Same story with that skateboard. That wood is probably long gone. Super cool, you guys. And you know what we're about to do. It's time to shovel out the bottom of the boat a little bit here. Look at all this crap, man. It just piles up. Wow, so much of it. There, brand spanking new. You could eat off of that floor. It's crazy to think that the person who was probably digging holes with this thing might not even be alive anymore. We are pulling out some history from this river. Oh, that was a pretty good stick. Oh yeah, baby. What is this one? That is actually really heavy. Whoa, like very heavy. What the heck is this? Dude, I just caught an entire scooter. What in the world, you guys? First we caught a bike, now we caught us a scooter. And they look like they're both probably about the same age. Wow, this thing's been in there forever. Every inch of it is covered in these clams. Does it still? twist and turn it flip it does you gotta be kidding me i don't know what kind of brand we got here this thing looks too old probably not a razor too bad this river's too nasty or i'd have to do some tricks into the river super crazy find you guys did i just bend it i think i did i broke the scooter my brand new scooter what in the world man Here we go, got us another something. Oh, that's heavy. What are you doing? It's like under the boat. Yeah, what is going on here? Oh, that's weird looking. Oh, that's, whoa, and there's a bag on the bottom. What the heck's in the bag? You never know. But what in the world is this, dude? That is really weird looking. Hold on, let's get this bag off of here first. Is there anything? in the bag i don't think so no it doesn't look like it you guys just a bunch of junky mud saving the fish from the plastic one throw at a time but what on earth is this thing here oh you know what this kind of looks like or maybe or does it go this way it almost looks like maybe an old uh bar stool or like a swivel chair or something. I'm gonna guess this is probably how it goes and maybe this plate here was the spinny part and the seat part just came right off. That's about the right height, you guys. That's pretty crazy looking. I guess I don't know for sure. Maybe it was a table. That's pretty crazy looking. Oh, I see some green. What the heck is that? What in the world, you guys? Look at that, it's a pair of scissors. It's like one of those Play-Doh scissors. A kid's scissors. Safety cut. Well, being that we only got one snipper there, I don't think you're cutting anything. Whoa, something slapped hard right there. What is that? Oh, that doesn't want to move. Again, we are in some more backyards here. These backyards are pretty juicy. There's something down there that just doesn't quite want to come up there for me. Oh, there it goes. I got it. It's coming. Pretty heavy. What the? Dude, it looks like a canister. Yes. What in the world? Look at this flipping thing. Check this one out, you guys. I know we're kind of like in the shade here, so hopefully you can still see it good. But look at that. It's definitely some kind of like canister thing here with maybe some vents. Whoa, look at this side. Dude, does that not look like a giant whistle? What if it is? 
What if this is like some kind of old school train whistle or something? Or maybe not a train whistle, but a whistle off of something. That's kind of crazy looking, you guys. Couple slits up there, and then there's one big slit on the back. That thing is heavy, whatever it is. Oh, look at this end here. There's like some threads on there. Ha uh ha. -huh. So whatever this is, apparently this was supposed to spin. I don't know what to think of this. Wait a minute, there's actually something on there. I was just dragging that on the bottom and I did not even feel anything. Oh yeah, you guys, look at this. Just a little piece of scrap on there, but check it out. We got us what looks like the old master lock, yep. Looks like it was supposed to be the dial lock, but we are completely missing a dial on that one. Who knows what they were locking up with this one. Hopefully it doesn't go to something that was chained up at the bottom of the river. Ooh, I just pulled something out of the mud. Look at all those bubbles coming up. Hey, yeah, we sucked something up out of the mud. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Ooh, it's spinning. What in the world? What in the world? Oh! Oh, no! Look it! I seen a big old scrap piece on there, but I thought I seen something kind of shiny. We found us a flipping golf club head. What does that say? Tour balance. It says P, which probably means pitching wedge. Four. That's pretty cool, you guys. I don't really know much about uh, golfing brands, so I don't know if this is like an expensive one, but that's pretty crazy. We're missing the entire golf shaft, so I would assume maybe that's why it ended up in the river. Who knows if there's not an entire set in the river? What the heck is that? Looks like a pair of old spectacles or something. I don't know what that is. Definitely old mangled up, tangled up piece off of something. But look at what else we had on here, you guys. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. It's like a super tiny hammer. I think these are called like tack hammers. But look at that. Not much of that handle left on there. That is a teeny tiny hammer head on that thing. Ting, ting, ting. What would you even be hammering with this? Had to be something really small. You ain't building no house with that one. That's super cool, you guys. All right, you guys. Unfortunately, I am starting to run out of time here for today. But we absolutely stack this boat once again. There is so much flipping stuff in this river and there's got to be tons left. No gun this time, but we found a bike, a scooter. We found a flipping fan. This boat is loaded. We will definitely be back, but I'm going to head off the river. I'm going to unload and I'm going to get the heck out of here for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.